Hello, I am Chief Avery Moore, and I am thrilled to announce the launch of our public dashboard. This dashboard has been in development for several months in collaboration with our IT department, and it represents a major step forward in our efforts to enhance the accessibility, transparency, and community safety. With this tool, we aim to provide you all with more streamlined and data supported information regarding crime trends and calls for service. And I am genuinely excited about the possibilities this dashboard has in improving our service to you, our community. It reflects our ongoing commitment to embracing technology to better fulfill our mission to make the city of Tacoma the safest city in America. Hi, I'm Detective William Muse, Public Information Officer for the Tacoma Police Department. Let's take a tour of the Tacoma Police Crime Dashboard. This quick tutorial will give you a high-level overview of the data and some of the ways you can interact with it. When the dashboard first loads, you'll see a disclaimer about what's included and what's not. For example, certain types of crimes are excluded, such as domestic violence and sexual offenses. And to protect the privacy of individuals involved, personal information is not included in this dashboard. The data is updated every business day and is subject to change and revision. It should be considered preliminary. Once you've read the disclaimer, click the OK button to explore the dashboard. The first page shows a summary of offense data. The data represents offenses that occurred within the city of Tacoma and is neither national incident-based reporting system compliant nor uniform crime reporting compliant and should not be compared to any report or data source using either standard. Note, this dashboard includes several pages displaying different information. You can navigate them by clicking on the tabs at the top or by clicking the navigation buttons in the upper right corner. At the top of each page, you can select a data range by adjusting the start and end dates. By default, the dashboard shows the last two weeks. There are also several additional filters across the top of each page that you can use to narrow the data in view. This summary view displays the data in various ways. Across the top, you'll see some summary metrics like total offenses and number of hate bias or gang-related offenses. On the left, the map shows the number of offenses in a particular area. The default map shows city council districts, but you can adjust that by using the map layer menu above. To the right of the map, you'll see the number of offenses graphed over time. And to the right of that, a year-over-year -year comparison that shows whether the number of offenses is up or down compared to the same period in the previous year. Then, in the lower portion of the dashboard, you can see a number of offenses by description, by premise type, or by time of day. Hover over these graphs for more details. On the next page, you'll see the same offense data, but this time in more detail. On the left, the map shows the approximate location of each offense, and on the right, the offense data is displayed in a table. Hover over the dots for more information. The call summary and detail pages are similar to the offense pages in the layout and functionality, but the data is different. On these pages, you'll see information about calls for service. Call data comes from the computer aid dispatch system and may not necessarily mean a crime was committed or a report was generated. The final page of the dashboard provides additional details about the data displayed and how the dashboard works. From this page, you can also click to access and download the underlying data in full. You can also click to contact us if you have any questions. We hope that this tutorial has been beneficial to you and looking forward to serving you in other ways. Thank you.